In this video, I'll be walking you through the step-by-step -step process of building your CF81 mechanical keyboard. The CF81 by Chosefox is a fully aluminum, gasket-mounted, hot-swap keyboard with per-key RGB, JWK stabilizers, and QMK plus VIA support. Before we dive into the assembly, let's see what's included in your kit. The aluminum keyboard case with the top and bottom screwed together. An Allen wrench for disassembling the top and bottom, which we'll have to do shortly. Gaskets that will install on the plate, a high quality coiled USB cable, JWK stabilizers, and a puller tool that works for both keycaps and switches. The first step in building your CF81 is to disassemble the case. Before removing the screws, be sure to remove the knob on the top right corner. You can use the included hex key to take apart the top and bottom case, or for a more ergonomic option you can use a kinetic lapse screwdriver instead. After taking off the case, set aside the plate and foam. Carefully lift the PCB to reveal the sockets and daughter board connector. Be sure not to pull your PCB out at this stage as you could cause damage. You can optionally test your switch sockets using tweezers by plugging your keyboard to your PC and making contact with the two sides of each socket to ensure your key registers correctly. VIA is a great tool for doing this as it'll automatically detect your board and give you a layout of your keyboard. Now carefully disconnect the daughter board cable from the PCB. This will make it easier to install your stabilizers. You can lubricate your stabilizers before installing them, but you don't have to if you're using a syringe loop such as Carbon GS3, which allows you to lubricate the stabilizers after they're installed. We'll go over this approach in a later step. You'll know which direction to install your stabilizers because the little clips in your stabilizers go into the large holes in the front of the PCB. Once you install the stabilizers in their precision, you can add the screws on the other side and tighten. You'll have to do this four times for your build as the CF81 has four keys with stabilizers including the spacebar. Once your stabilizers are installed, it's a good idea to test that the installation went smoothly by pulling one end of the stabilizer upward. If the other side of the stabilizer also moves upward, you're all set. If one side gets stuck, try reinstalling the stabilizer. Also be careful not to drop the stabilizer screws as they can be really hard to find. It helps to use a magnetized screwdriver set, such as the one sold by Kinetic Labs. You might have noticed there are two types of gaskets included in your kit, a thin and thick version. We recommend installing the thin version on the top side of your plate and installing the thick version on the bottom side of the plate. Carefully attach the adhesive to the plate lips like so on all sides on the top and bottom of the plate. Now it's time to put everything back together. Carefully reconnect the daughter board connector to the PCB. Be mindful of the orientation of the cable. If you look closely, you'll see the side of the connector that has the small metal openings on the bottom side. This is gonna line up to the prongs on the PCB. Once the daughter board is connected, position the PCB on top of the bottom case, followed by the plate foam and the plate itself. Then position the top case on top of the plate and flip the keyboard over to reinstall the screws we removed earlier. Now you can put the knob back in place as well. If you didn't apply loop to your stabilizers in a previous step, now's a great time to do so with a syringe. In this case, we're using Carbon GS3 stabilizer lube, and a little goes a long way, so be careful not to add too much initially and apply as needed. Before installing your switches, try connecting your keyboard to your PC. If you see each key lighting up, that's a good sign that the PCB was assembled correctly, and you can finally start installing your switches and keycaps. Once everything is assembled, you can connect your keyboard to your PC, open the VIA configurator, and confirm that all keys are registering properly. This is also a great time to remap your keys as needed. If you have any questions or issues with your build, feel free to contact our support team at Kinetic Labs. We'll be happy to help. Enjoy typing away at your new CF81.